Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. So I know that the Mac bag in the thumbnail was a bit overwhelming, but it's only a little tiny one. They gave me another massive one. I now have like five of those because I got some from iMats. If you guys have been following me for a while, you would have seen my iMats haul and my iMats vlog where I showed you them. Um, today's Mac haul. This was my first shop at Mac since being staff. So I did benefit from the staff discount, which was amazing. And I thought I would show you what I got. I'm not going to do this every time I go to Mac because I'm probably going to go there quite a lot now. Um, but I thought I'd just show you my first one. And in the future, if I do like big ones again, then I will show you. Um, I do want to get out of the way that I am also starting to build a kit now. I do want to get into freelance just after my birthday, which is in about a month's time. Um, so just bear that in mind. But yeah, let's get in to my little haul, my little haul. So first things first, you guys know I had to go in and pick up my mineralized loose foundation and extra light. I literally swear by this powder. This is the best powder I've ever tried to set my highlight areas. I, I can't wait to move and not hear the sound every fucking day. I absolutely love this. I use a darker shade as well to bronze it sometimes. I go through this like air, pretty much. I, I have one like probably once every month because I just use them so often. The next thing I got was a bottle of Fix Plus. I, <laughs> ooh, I actually emptied the Fix Plus out of it because I just want the bottle because my Urban Decay spray, all of the new ones, ever since they got new packaging, the bottles for me have been absolutely diabolical and I just wanted the Fix Plus spray because um, I like the way it sprays. It's kind of like a mist so I've actually emptied it. There's nothing in there so I'm going to put my Urban Decay one in there and I'm going to add a little something else, a little tweak but I will Instagram and Snapchat that when I do it. Um, but yeah, I picked up that. The reason I emptied it is because I find Fix Plus just a bit too tight on my skin um, and the Urban Decay one's a bit more lighter kind of thing. But I will be getting a Fix Plus for my kit at one point. The next thing is a backup of my foundation that I wear to work. This is my favourite MAC foundation there is because there's not a lot because there's not a strong scent to it and my skin doesn't react to it, which is really great. It's the Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. It's in the shade NC42. Um, I I really love this. I've I used it in a video kind of recently for the first time and my skin looked impeccable and I've used it quite a lot ever since and I wear it to work um, and that's just what it looks like. I do recommend this a lot when people come in um, like for foundation matches but most people know that they want the studio fix but that's my personal favourite, the Pro Long Wear Waterproof one if you guys are interested. The next thing I got is actually a powder blusher um, but it's quite, it's in like the eyeshadow pans. Now the reason why is because they're meant to be eyeshadows. Obviously you can use them as blushes if you want, but because they actually stain, um, they can't be marketed as eyeshadows. But this is in the shade Bright Pink, which I could have used today, but I didn't do this haul in time. Um, and I absolutely love this. It's so pigmented and so beautiful. And I've just wiped a bit off, as you can see. It's still left on my fingers, so it does stain a bit. Me putting that on my eyes personally, I don't mind. I probably wouldn't put that in a kit. Um, just because I don't know how people would react themselves to it. Um, but personally, on my skin, I don't mind what I put on there, really. The next thing is a pigment. This is in the shade Copper Sparkle, which looks so, 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 so stunning. It reminds me of... I thought it would remind me of Melon, but that's Melon and that's Copper Sparkle, so they're quite different. Um, Copper Sparkle just looks stunning. I can't wait to play with that. I'm not going to open it now because... Me and pigments, when I open them, it's just, it's just, it's just a mess and I just, I just can't cope with it. Then I got a lipstick in the shade Persistence. A lot of people buy this, um, like, from me, so I thought I'd get it myself. It's kind of like a deep, browny, mauvey nude, which is kind of like my favourite nude, but this one's quite a lot darker than what I usually go for. So I'm excited about that, um, to see what it's like in the winter. Winter and autumn. The next thing I got is another powder blush. This one's in the pan. This is in the shade Devil. Um, I didn't get this for a blush, although you can more than more than happily wear it as a blush. I actually got it for an eyeshadow. That is what it looks like there, and on the finger as well. So it's just kind of like a bright burnt orange, which you guys know in my eyes I love that kind of stuff I want to get one of those for my kit as well because that's a stunning color to use as transitions and on darker skin that will be so so bomb on the lid then I picked up another eyeshadow this one's in the shade I am into it um I I've been eyeing this up at work for ages literally pretty much when I started it is like a deep burgundy 
beautifulness and I wanted to pair it with copper sparkle I want to do a tutorial on this which I will do very soon or probably the next couple of days that is what it looks like I just want to just don't do it don't do it you'll make a mess but it's very very pretty um, and I did it I used it on a girl the other day and she just looks stunning with it on then I picked up another eyeshadow in the pan this is in the shade copper ring as you can see, I'm going for a copper theme. Oh god, oh no. And copper ring looks like that. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Um, yeah, I got that because I just feel like I couldn't. I know Jacqueline Hill spoke about it a lot. Um, and she said when she used to work for MAC, that was like her favourite shade. And I'm, I can't remember if I own it. If I do, I'm going to keep both. <laughs> and if I don't, I now have one at least. Another powder blush eyeshadow thing is the shade Never Say Never, which is more of like a pinky red kind of thing. It reminds me of, it reminds me of the MAC collection, the Fruit Alala. La. Reminds me of that one there just a tad and again because this is a powder blush it is one of those that will stain your eyes but I mean oh how could you say no and then another powder blush eyeshadow situation is in the shade news flash I feel like I didn't go as ham as I could have gone I kind of restrained myself a bit um, and this is just like a neon like ready kind of orangey shade which I think is so stunning I know a lot of those shades look similar but to me they don't I picked up a backup of the highlighter prep and prime prep and prime pen in the shade light boost and then finally i picked up another lipstick in the shade really me which before i got my job at mac i was actually going to do a back to mac with and get this but then i got my job and now i can't do back to max it's very like cool toned but i really like it it's a lot more cool tone than i usually go for but i'm still a fan i'm still a fan i really cannot wait to get out of these builders and move so then guys that is it for my mac haul like i said i won't do one every time i go to mac unless you guys want one i'll do them on snapchat if you want but when i do like bulk buys then i will do my hauls because i love doing makeup hauls i love them i love doing them i love watching them i love being a part of them i like shopping for them um so if you guys are interested in me doing more then let me know as well but like i said i will probably put most of them on snapchat i don't have many other hauls coming up i might have a home decor haul at one point but because i'm moving i'm focusing majority of my life on that and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you again for all the love and support on me getting my job at MAC. I love it so I really, really am loving it. Like, proper loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!